Hey y'all, Adam here for pixelatedphotographer.com. Got a quick Lightroom video for you. Uh, a while back we saw Chris show us how to do a uh, tilt shift or lens baby effect in Photoshop. And I thought I'd show you how you can achieve a similar effect in Lightroom. It's not quite as detailed, not going to be quite as good as you would in full-blown Photoshop. But if you don't have Photoshop or you don't want to go into Photoshop to do it, you just want something quick and easy, it's a nice little option you have here in uh, Lightroom. So we're going to start. I'm in the develop module. We're going to do this with a graduated filter. So I'm going to select my graduated filter and I've set the clarity all the way down to minus 100 and the sharpness all the way down to minus 100. And that's going to give us the blur effect that we're looking for. So typically with a tilt shift lens, you would have a single plane of focus in the in the image and I'm gonna select kind of this road area in the building right there similar to what Chris did in his edit a lens baby is gonna give you more localized if you wanted to just have the building in focus or something like that but ours is gonna be more of a tilt shift with a, with a line of, of focus through it and all we're gonna do now that we have our, our filter selected is kinda of drag from the corner here and if you if this was on a, a straight X or Y axis you could hold shift and make it uh, a perfect straight line. Ours is a little angled, so I'm not going to do that. And I'm going to pick a spot here, and I'm kind of just drag in. And I'm going to get close to the building. I don't want the building to start to blur. And I can adjust the angle a little bit so the road is kind of in there. Let me get a little bit closer there. That's not too bad. And you can actually do more than one. You can see the blur effect that we got from doing this one. Um, if you added another one, they kind of stack on top of each other. There is a limit to it. It'll only work up to about four or so uh, layers of this. After that, it, there's no real sense in doing doing it anymore. But the, the trick is to make sure you don't click on the dot or on the line when you do a, a new filter or a new graduated filter on here. So I'm going to drag kind of in this area. You can immediately you can see how much more blur uh, we got once I added this one. Again, be careful not to get too close to the building. That's pretty good there. All I'm going to do then is do it again on this side. And I'm going to drag this way. And you want to keep kind of the same angle. If you have them different, it's going to look a little weird. So I'm going to keep the same angle. I'm going to drag up. Again, I don't want to get my building blurry in there. There we go. That's pretty good. And I let me do uh, one more here a little bit closer. There we go. You can really see it start to uh, to blur now. Oh, got a little too far. I'll make sure I don't get my building in there. Back it off a little bit. There we go. That's pretty good. And there you go. If I turn off, uh, I'm going to hit done here. If I turn off the effect of the uh, graduated filter, we'll just use this little on off button here. There you can see where we started. And there you can see where we finished. So, Again, not, not quite as detailed as Chris's method, um, but a quick and easy way you can do it in Lightroom um, without having to go into Photoshop. So there you go. Make sure to check out the site, pixelatedphotographer.com. Uh, go to the forums, let us know what you think of the videos, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.